Hey everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the new functional group esters. The ester functional group contains a carbonyl group, which is a carbon atom, double bonded to an oxygen atom. However, what makes an ester special is that the carbonyl carbon atom also forms a single covalent bond with another oxygen atom. As we'll learn later in the video, an ester is formed from reacting an alcohol with a carboxylic acid functional group. This reaction is referred to as esterification. The name of the ester consists of two parts. The alcohol part, which ends with the YL suffix, and the carboxylic acid part, which ends with an OATE, O8 suffix. In the molecule of an ester, the carboxylic acid part refers to the side of the ester molecule that contains the carbonyl group, while the alcohol part is on the other side of the molecule, containing the oxygen atom that forms a single bond with the carbonyl carbon. The name of the ester can be deduced by counting the number of carbon atoms in each part of the molecule. In this example, there is one carbon atom in the alcohol part and two carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid part. So the name of the ester is methyl, referring to the one carbon atom in the alcohol part, and ethanoate, referring to the two carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid part. Here are a few more examples. In this ester, there are two carbon atoms in the alcohol part and one carbon atom in the carboxylic acid part. So the name is ethyl methanoate. In this ester, there are three carbon atoms in the alcohol part and two carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid part. So the name is propyl or propyl ethanoate. For this much larger ester molecule, the naming convention still applies. We have two carbon atoms in the alcohol part and one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid part of the molecule. So the name of this ester is ethyl hexanoate. With the introduction of esters, we have explored four different functional groups that contain the carbonyl group. The three other functional groups have been aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. In an aldehyde, the carbonyl carbon in the carbonyl group is bonded to a carbon atom and a terminal hydrogen atom. In the ketone functional group, the carbonyl group here is in between two adjacent carbon atoms. And for the carboxylic acid functional group, the carbonyl group is between a carbon atom and an oxygen with a proton attached to it. The structures of carboxylic acids and esters are quite similar. It is important to recognize that the oxygen atom in the carboxylic acid functional group is bonded to a proton, which is the reason why it is acidic. In contrast, in an ester functional group, the oxygen atom is bonded to another carbon atom, as you can see here. So esters are not acidic. Carboxylic acids and esters are also functional group isomers. That is, they share the same molecular formula but have different functional groups. Here's an example of propanoic acid, which has the molecular formula of C3H6O2. There are two ester molecules with the same molecular formula, ethyl methanoate or methyl ethanoate. So in total, they have the same number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms, but you can see the rearrangement of the actual structure is slightly different. Let's talk about properties of esters, starting out with boiling points and melting points. Remember that a compound's boiling point and melting points are determined by its intermolecular forces. Small ester molecules are polar due to the presence of electronegative oxygen atoms that create dipole moments in the molecule. This allows small ester molecules to form not only dispersion forces, but also dipole-dipole forces. However, larger ester molecules have decreased polarity, so they have weaker dipole-dipole forces. In addition, ester molecules cannot form hydrogen bonds as they lack hydrogen atoms bonded to either fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. Contrast this to a molecule of carboxylic acid, whereby it contains an hydrogen atom that is bonded to an oxygen. So this allows carboxylic acids to form hydrogen bonds, whereas esters cannot. 
When we are comparing esters with other functional groups of similar molar mass, they have a lower boiling point than alcohols and carboxylic acids, as both of these functional groups can form hydrogen bonds, while esters cannot. Esters also have a lower boiling point than aldehydes and ketones, as these two functional groups have a stronger dipole moment, which results in stronger dipole-dipole forces. Like most organic compounds, esters have higher boiling points than hydrocarbons, as these compounds are attracted together by weak dispersion forces only. Solubility of organic compounds in water depends on the polarity, as well as the type of intermolecular forces that can form with water. While ester molecules cannot form hydrogen bonds amongst themselves, they can, however, form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Specifically, the hydrogen bond is formed between the hydrogen atom in the water molecule and a pair of lone electrons on an oxygen atom in the ester molecule. Since small esters are polar and can accept hydrogen bonds from water molecules, they are generally soluble, like aldehydes and ketones. However, as ester molecules become larger with increasing molar mass, they become less soluble. And this is because larger esters have reduced polarity. For example, in this large ester molecule, the dipole moment of the molecule is rather weak as it contributes to a very small portion of the molecule size. In other words, because this ester molecule is predominantly made up of non-polar hydrocarbon chains, it is considered as non-polar, so it is insoluble in water. Esters are less soluble than alcohols and carboxylic acids. This is because alcohols and carboxylic acids are more polar than esters, and also they are able to form more hydrogen bonds than esters can. This is due to the fact that alcohols and carboxylic acids can also donate hydrogen bonds as they both contain a hydrogen atom bonded to an oxygen atom. The most important and unique property of esters is its aromaticity. The presence of an ester is often accompanied by a strong fragrance or scent, and the smell is determined by the ester's structure. Thus, different esters are associated with different smells, and here are just a few of the many examples. It is useful to remember this property because the unique scent of esters is often used for its identification.